everybody, and welcome to the Crosspad Castle. I am the Mischievous Rogue, and this is part two of my Hatsune Miku edit tutorial for MMD in Blender. And I really hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much. You're going to go in. You're going to look for this top. All right. So now that we have our ugly top, we're going to want to find the tie, too. Okay, you want to make sure they're both selected. All right, so because we separated by materials and everything is separate and we know things are weight claimed correctly because of PMX editor, we're just going to grab this mesh. Um, there's different ways to do this, but the general way is first move it in the correct position. Okay, we're going to grab the shirt, we're going to grab the tie, and then we're going to go to the move tool. Do not click on anything yet. Go to object set origin, origin to geometry. This makes it so when you're in object mode and you just grab an object, this will put uh, the pointer here where it, it belongs because they're all part of one mesh. It's going to read it um, as one material and it's going to put that pointer um, right down here. And that's just really inconvenient. This is how you get it back into place. And if it doesn't spawn again, like when you click on it, you know, you can just go in, go to object, set origin, origin to geom geometry. So when you click off, it's going to go away and you'll have to do it again. Okay, so we're just going to make sure uh, th you know, surprisingly and, you know, they did say that they had put it to on a TDA model. This just fit. Um, when a model doesn't fit at all um, and, you know, we're probably going to have some clipping on the back. I actually think this there is, there is clipping on the back. Um, we have one of two options. We can just scoot it back. But now we're having problems with the front. So I'm going to control Z that. I'm going to hit the S key. And then I'm going to put the Y key. And that's going to lock um, any transformations I make on the Y axis. And I'm just going to gently tug. Uh, now she has more room. You know. And basically we're going to fit we're going to fit the model onto this. You know, and it might be a little hard to tell. Oh god, where is she clipping and where are the holes in her shirt? So I'm going to um, undo what I did. I'm, I'm going to actually scale the entire shirt. You just press S and it'll scale everything. Okay. Now that we've done that, I'm going to scoot it up. And now I'm just going to fit this in as close as I can. Because once I can't rotate it correctly... We're going to use Blender sculpting tools to fix any uh, minor issues with it. So you're going to want it roughly to be where it belongs. And, I, and I'm looking up her shirt just to see exactly like, okay, where is this? Um, see, look, like we're having an issue with the tie. We're going to have to pull that forward with sculpting tools. Okay, so this is probably the best that it's going to get on here. So now, what we're going to do is first we're going to fix the shirt. We're going to go to Object, Sculpt Mode. You're going to use the Grab Tool. Um, generally, you want some symmetry. So you're going to go from the Grab Tool on Sculpt Mode. You're going to go up here uh, where this butterfly is, and that's mirroring. And you're going to press X. See how I now have two yellow dots? Um, my cursor is the one, you know, on the right. And if I unclick it, you only see my cursor. But if I press the um, X mirror mode, now you can see it being mirrored. And you're generally going to want to keep that on. Like, that's just a good policy. Um, the the standard setting and the strengths of the, the tools, which is right here in the tool tab, you can make it super strong. This is just where it generally puts itself at, and that's perfectly fine. I don't. Re we're just tweaking. So you're gonna press F to size it up. Hold F down, and scroll up. Let's push up with your mouse, and that will give you uh, a nice big uh, brush. Now we're just gonna pull very gently out. You know, we don't want to give her back boobs, so we need to be very careful. Um, you know, because. She does have these nice tears here. We, you know, we're going for an emo, you know, 
2000s punk look, you know? I mean, I mean it was The Sims, so. Anyways, uh, that what was in. That what that is what was in. So anyways, we're going to go up. We're going to pull. We're going to be very gentle. Um and it, it's going to make putting clothes on your model much easier. PMX editor, it is a a nightmare. I'm sorry. Like I like I said, this is not because I'm some blasphemer who hates MMD when I say this. I am simply saying uh it complicates things, you know? Like um, we're going to turn off uh, the tie. And it seems to me that the tie is a big, important part. It actually kind of has a groove. So when we pull the tie forward, we're going to have to really think about that. You know, uh, put the tie back. Okay, I'm going to grab the tie. Nope, I want the tie. Um, go to object mode, click on the tie, go back to sculpt mode. And we're going to try to keep um, the tie in, in alignment. And this is a good way, like, if you don't know anything about Blender, this is a really good way to just, like, practice and have fun, you know? And then you can give your models away to your friends and be like, look, I made my little model. And uh, you could do all kinds of crap, you know, with MMD. And that's, you know, that's the beauty of the community. You can make memes. Uh, that's, that's mostly what I do. Um, make your friends laugh. Just have some fun, you know? So now that I got my model uh, basically situated, we're going to want to test it. Um, so you're going to go back. And uh, now she's wearing a shirt. Uh, you're going to go back and you're going to test the model by going to the MMD tools. You're going to join the meshes. Now I know we haven't touched the pants or the shoes. Uh, okay, that's going to look really ridiculous. But um, we're just testing the armpits. You know, and I'll probably have to test the model again uh, when the pants are fitted just because it automatically, when you press join meshes, you know, it shows them. So uh, if you want to rotate your model, you're just going to go to pose mode, click on it so it's highlighted, press R for rotate. You can also use the rotate tool. And you see how that's nicely weight painted on? I know her pants are very distracting and I apologize for that. Uh, you're going to press R. And you just kind of see how we're waving like that. Um, it is weight paint correctly, which is why I use PMX editor still for my as my exporter. Um, now here's the thing. Here's why I don't just load this PMX model into Blender as an FBX or an OBJ model, which are the more standard formats. Um, PMX has to stay with PMX objects. Otherwise, you're going to have to. Um, I'll, I'll demonstrate. So when you're merging meshes, the way PMX editor merged this into an, uh, a, a whole mesh on its own, we'll start a new collection. And I'm just showing you an example. So we have like a cube, uh, press G to pick it up, add a mesh, have another cube, press G to pick that up. Um, if you want to join these meshes together, all you have to do is click on both, so they're both highlighted, and press Control J. Now they're one item here like they are one object that will not work for this model i cannot go and be like oh i have this lovely shirt i'm going to drop that fbx onto this you know fbx model because if you're not getting it in with the tools you won't be able to open it into blender um that won't work it won't be weight pained um it it won't be as easy it'll be quite difficult and since we're doing this for pmx these are all pmx files they um the way PMX editor works is it, it auto weight paints it and uses kind of a template, which is nice. Now the cats plugin, uh, just so you know, I don't know if I have it active right now. Uh, I'm going to save my work really quick. The cats plugin, uh, um, which I do have that installed. Add ons cat, uh, the cats blender plugin. Uh, that's a lot of VR chat users use that. That has a way to import PMX models in, and you can manipulate models with the CATS plugin, but you cannot re-export them as PMX models for use in MMD. And because this is part of a community, and I'm trying to give back to my community, uh, that's just kind of been a place, a hangout for a long time. Wow, I actually freaked MMD out. I'm going to have to reopen my file. 
Um, sorry. Give me a moment to reopen my file. Um, if this happens, like where you turn off a plugin and then it, it kind of glitches in that I'm not seeing my MMD operator here, just go to File, Open Recent, and just reopen it. Oh my goodness, I'm just going to restart the whole program. Sometimes that happens, and that's normal with plugins, because um, Cat's plugin actually uses MMD tools, but it's, just a, it's a different version of it, and that's why it even caused any issues. See, now, now that I've reloaded the file, you know, now I'm, um, I'm separating the meshes. Now that I've done all that, um, you know, my, my operator came back. Okay, so now we're going to do the pants. And like I said, this is baby's first edit. We're not focusing on any of the harder things. Uh, we're not focusing on, you know, 3D modeling stuff. We're just focusing on um, getting clothes on these models using meshes. Uh, you'll probably de be deleting meshes. We'll probably delete her entire vertices here. Um, and, all, and what I'm showing here will work for a VR chat model. Unfortunately, you don't want to use TDA at all. That That is against the rules, and it's fine. If you're going to break the rules, I'm not your mama. I am not going to tell you what to do. But, you know, I, I don't know. If you break TDA rules, I, I'm not sure what's going to happen. Uh, the wrath of Hatsune Miku will fall upon you. I don't know. The community will likely uh, try to stone you. They are pretty rabid <laughs> if you don't, uh, if you, you know, break any rules. And... You know, and it's easy to forget the rules. You know, I've even done it where I just totally spaced it because I got so used to working in Blender and SFM. You know, they don't have those kind of restrictions, whereas MMD, there are restrictions. So you just make sure to read the rules of your parts that you're using. Uh, you know, you can't make profit from this stuff, but you can make profit from the skills and teaching people. And you can make profit from motion data and selling that and selling parts. So there are ways to make money with MMD. Uh, but that's not why I do this. This is my hobby. So... All right, anyways, we're going to size these mesh pants down. Um, this is probably going to be a really big challenge to get onto here. So I'm going to start by pressing S. Now, S is how I size it up and down, just so you know, if you if you weren't paying attention or you're like, how did you do that? It's just the S button. Hold the S key. We're going to hit S again, and we're going to hit uh, Y. Uh, we want to add some width to this. You know, her butt's thick, and we want to make these pants even thicker. Now we're going to press S, um, X for the X axis. And we're just going to pull them out. Before I start sculpting um, at all these these pants, you know, I want them to fit as best as possible first. So I'm going to move the butt down and see if I can, can I get the butt on the butt? Can we get the booty on the booty? You know, let's see. You know, because if we sculpt it back on there, which we'll probably be doing, you know, I just want to do the best that I can. And if you were doing this in PMX Editor, you would literally be, like, trying to select vertice by vertice and praying that you don't make a mistake because Blender, despite the triangulated meshes on these models, which means that they're, they're game rips, even Miku has that, um, and Blender can't always... Um, some of the tools that Blender has to, like, instantly grab a row of vertices, instantly grab, like, a whole hoop on the model... Um, and by vertices, you can see these are the vertices. Um, because they're triangulated, some of Blender's uh, automatic controls don't can't do that. But that's why we can use a sculpting brush. And then the editing tool is really just for stray vertices. So anyways, uh, back to sculpting. We're going to do X and the X-axis again. We're going to shrinky-dinky it. We're going to grab a cheek, and we're going to pull. Uh, we're going to pull a little bit. I, we want to generally to keep it even. Okay, and then I, I need to see what's going on here. And, th and those are underwear. Um, we're going to turn off mirroring mode for this part to pull the, the seam of the pants down. So we are pulling the seam of the pants down. Likely, uh, we will be deleting... Now I'm going to put the mirror mode back on. Uh, deleting... Uh, her vertices underneath because we want to optimize the model. The less vertices that MMD and Blender have to read, the better. Uh, and most game edits, most game models, uh, most 3D models, 
you know, they don't keep unnecessary stuff. The nice thing about these is these pants are kind of wrinkly. So if sculpting makes it slightly more wrinkly, it's not a big deal. All right, so we're just pulling vertices out gently. You know, if you want to see what I'm doing on a vertice level, which is nauseating, I'm just gently pulling the mesh out. And I'm doing it with symmetry, so. Uh, but if you pull too much, you will split and break your mesh, which is why I sized it up first. Okay, so now that we've got this, um, again, I'm going to test it. Before I take care of, oh, there's some on the side right there already. Which is why I, I kind of keep it in just the world view mode. Okay, I'm not seeing any seams. I'm not seeing any issues. Okay, uh, well, I see some here, but I might actually... Uh, I, I'm not sure what to do about the shoes yet, because I want the pants either to be over um, or pushed up. We're going to see. But first, we're going to make sure everything is generally weight pained correctly, because you need to check. So join the meshes again. Uh, click on the armature. Go to pose mode. You can see her bones. Click the IK bone. That's going to lift everything up. Go ahead and get, get the move tool. Lift it up straight. And out. And uh, like clockwork, it works. This is why I use the PMM, PMX editor as an export. Uh, because it's one of the few tools that can do this in general. Um, the only tools like this I've seen are actually in Unreal, of all places. 